All right, next up we have the main screen. There's a lot going on on this screen, so we'll go through it step by step. On the left side, we have our contact information here. Uh, any any uh, contact we select, uh, well, their information will appear and load in the fields below. Now, when you have a lot of contact, I want to stress a really important point. Uh, what you don't want to probably do is go down the drop-down list when you have a lot of contacts. So I'm going to show you a few shortcuts. One, you can start typing it in, and it should appear. If it doesn't appear, you can press the Alt and the down arrow key, and that is going to allow you to search uh, more easily, quickly, uh, all of the contacts you will see. So Alt and the down arrow, as you start to type in, it'll get a lot closer. For now, we'll just go ahead and type it in, and the contact information will load. We can then... Uh, we don't want to make any changes we can just add a change and the changes will be uh, updated automatically by this little contact info updated message so we don't even need to save our changes unless it's a new contact as a matter of fact why don't we go ahead and add a new contact in we'll just click the add new button here and we'll go ahead and type in a name here and uh, I'll go ahead and put a phone number in and uh, add a number to that so we get proper format so uh, we can go ahead the status will show up after we've saved it uh, and we'll go ahead and add an email in there all right if uh, if they've chosen to opt out of emails and if the contact has said hey please don't send me any more uh, emails or reminders you can go ahead and click the opt out there so that's uh, definitely an option there uh, we can put in the address we can put in a city area as well as the date of birth. And this is, uh, once again, uh, the default. Uh, what this is really handy that way, uh, it's a default appointment type, meaning that when we schedule that contact, that appointment type will come up automatically. I'll show you how that works. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, just type in B, and we just start typing, and it comes up, and hit Enter. And that appointment type, the one that we have set default, will automatically appear along with, uh, I'll show you that email a little bit later on. Um, and so you see that uh, NP uh, type automatically came up because we have it set. If we were to remove that, no uh, appointment type would show up. Uh, so we have all of our custom fields down here. And uh, if we have a requested staff or a specific staff that we want to assign to this particular contact, we can add it here. Any invoices will appear here, and we'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and show you that uh, real quickly. As well as, so let's go ahead and add an invoice. All we need to do is select the appointment, then click uh, invoice the select appointment. All right, we'll go ahead and save that, clicking save, and uh, we got the invoice save message. And back to the main sheet. Uh, now we see that uh, under this contact, we have an invoice. Uh, and we have uh, the history. This sh it's showing in red because it has not been paid yet. Uh, if we select it, we can go to uh, make a payment, or we can view the invoice. If we want to view it, we just click the view. If we want to make a payment, we would just click the payment here. Uh, we would just select it, click the payment, and then all of the information will be displayed. And we'll go through the payments a little bit later. I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is. That's an email that we've got set up. Well, I'll show you that also a little bit later on. Back to the main section. So once it's paid, you can see we've applied that payment, the payments, and the balance is zero. So we have a, a full history of invoices, which is really nice. We have the ability to add any contact-specific notes here. We also have right above here packages. If we're using packages, uh, this information will display. But if it's not displaying for you, it's probably because we've unselected the packages. So in the setup screen, when we don't select use packages, we go back into the main section, you see the packages uh, information has disappeared. So it's nice because if you're not going to use it, you don't see it. So it's no reason to see it if, you, if that's not something you're going to be using. For now, we'll go ahead and select it. And uh, back onto the main screen, we see that uh, we have uh, information. We've purchased 30, and uh, we have remaining 29. We've just used one. We'll go over how those packages are used and applied shortly. And uh, also, we have the ability to enter 
uh, specific notes to every appointment. Uh, this one that we've just scheduled on August 24th, we can add uh, notes for that appointment, which is nice. Those are specific to that uh, appointment and automatically they've been saved. So if we were to select another, let's go ahead and select another contact and then back over to that, you could see the notes will load up that we've just modified. So that's really handy. We can also attach specific files and pictures to uh, a specific contact. And we were discussing this earlier when we had uh, the specific contact location where the main folders, that's just gonna be set up once in the setup screen. Back over to the main section. So let's go ahead and add a file for this specific contact. Just click on the add file button. And what that's gonna do is gonna launch a browser button. And uh, we'll go ahead and search for a photo and uh, okay, we'll just, we can use a PDF. Okay, let's go ahead and add that. We can add PDFs or any type of pictures or any type and uh, pictures will automatically have a preview. Let's go ahead and see if we can find a, a picture file so that I can get you a, um, a picture. And uh, here we go, here's a, a picture. And uh, let's go ahead now. So if it's a picture, we'll go ahead and see a preview on that uh, just by selecting that and the preview will show up of the picture. So it's nice, we got it. We can uh, open the file specifically if we want to open it. We can uh, delete it and we can view all the view all the attachments. If you have a lot, it'll take you to the attachment screens where you can view all of them for the specified contact. So that's the attachments, you can also delete it. And just so you know what that does is it creates an individual folder for each contact. So if we go back into my desktop here where we've where we've said we've gone ahead and as you can see there's a there's a folder with this contact name. And inside that folder is the two attachments that we've added. So individual folders are added specific to the contact name. So that everything gets organized. As you can see the contact name is Jim Beam and here the folder has automatically been created for that contact so it's really helpful uh, that we are able to have that added in there and uh, so that's it for the uh, thing we can delete a contact add new that is it for the contact section we'll go ahead and move over to the main section now Okay, there was actually one additional feature I wanted you to show on the main section, and that was the rebate feature. Uh, as long as in the setup screen that we do have uh, the rebates uh, turned on uh, here, they would be turned on, and we got the rebate amount of $50, and we have a threshold amount set of $20, and I'll go ahead and show you how that works. So here under this particular contact, we have a referred, uh, uh, which is another contact, Jim Beam. So Jim Beam is the one uh, that referred Randy Austin. So we want to go ahead and reward Jim Beam for that referral. And uh, we've decided to refer a $50 credit. So when we click on, uh, and now we also notice that we've already invoiced uh, Randy Austin for $140 so we are over that $20 threshold so we have to be over that threshold and once we do that then when we select uh, Jim Beam's profile here we can see that under his profile we now have the ability to redeem a rebate all right I've gone ahead and removed one invoice so it's clear so we can see uh, that we have the ability to redeem a rebate so we just select on the invoice click the redeem rebate button and that will switch us over to the invoice where a rebate will be applied and you see fifty dollars that was very quick you probably didn't see it so let's go ahead and go back to the invoice and you see a line referral rebate applied fifty dollars and now the balance is ninety dollars so automatically the rebate's been applied when we go back to the main section we see an invoice amount uh, about of 90 now so uh, that is clear and that's a great way and, and the ability to add the rebate is no longer there because it's already been applied so I just wanted to show you that the rebates are a great way to reward your referring company and to do it uh, automatically quickly easily and it keeps track of everything Okay, over to the scheduling uh, right side part of the main screen. This is also known as day view or main view. And this will show a single day. As demonstrated earlier, you can show anywhere from one to four staff, uh, depending upon how many uh, we staff we have selected in the um, 
staff schedule. So for now, we'll go ahead and show all four back over to the main. Uh, we have the ability to schedule any staff. We also have the ability to change staff on a particular day. This is uh, uh, used if you want to schedule a specific staff off for just a specific day if they call in sick or maybe you have a staff changeover so that's quite helpful as well. Uh, for now we'll go ahead and leave it uh, as Fred and uh, as we change the staff you'll see the schedule based on that staff's schedule so it's really handy. The schedule also changes, the off time changes. Okay, so if we have a default appointment type set up for a specific contact, when we enter that contact, the default appointment type will also display shown up as we showed before. So here we go ahead and set up this team and the new patient. And uh, the length of the appointment is in the is based on the appointment types and services, which we will get here. Here we've defaulted to 40. We'll go over that in just a little bit, but that's how it's that's why it's 40 minutes because we have set that default. If we want to change that duration, uh, we do have two ways to do it. We can select the appointment, we can right click and click on change duration. And we see 40 and we can change that uh, to 20 minutes and click OK. Another way to do it, uh, you can also click the button here, change appointment duration, and change it back uh, to 30. So there's two ways we can change a duration. We do also have the ability to cancel or no-show a specific, a specific contact or appointment. Uh, just right-click, set the appointment status as canceled, and then that will show as canceled. Uh, it'll be uh, in a gray background with a red font uh, or we also have the ability to show them as a no-show. This is going to help for reporting when we track uh, no-shows and cancellations as well. And also there's an email feature which allows us to automatically email uh, if they haven't rescheduled within X amount of days and then you choose a day. So we'll go over that a little bit in the email section. So uh, we can set that back to active if they do. Just simply click the active and it'll go back to active. And uh, we can do this for each of our staff on uh, any way. We can use a previous or next day. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. We can also use the mini calendar in the upper right hand to select the current day. We can select a specific month or we can use the previous and next month. We can also select uh, a specific year too that we want to show the schedule. So it's very easy to quickly navigate to a specific date. The current date will always show up in green. The selected date will show up in orange. So any date you select is going to be in orange and the current date will always be in green. That's you can quickly. You can also just click today for to go to the current date. So we've made it really quick and really easy uh, to go that. You can scroll down. You have up to actually 75 different appointments per staff. So there's a lot of appointments you can do. So a single day can hold up to 300 different appointments. Another great feature is the ability to invoice all appointments within a single day. Right now we just have a single invoice, so a single scheduled appointment. So why don't we go ahead and add another one? And uh, once we have that added, we can then go ahead and click the Create All Invoices. So we'll go ahead and click that button. Once we do that, uh, all the invoices for that day will be created and saved automatically without me having to do anything. So it's a really great feature. It takes a little bit of time if you've got a lot of uh, appointments, but it's much quicker than manually doing it. So there you go. Both appointments uh, invoices have now been created. And we'll go back to the main screen. We also have the ability to manually send email reminders with a click of a button. Uh, by clicking this, we'll create email reminders for the selected day using Outlook, and it can even add a ICS. We'll go over that uh, in a little bit, uh, and uh, that's a pretty great feature there. Another great feature is the ability to uh, email selected available times quickly and easily. Often a contact or a patient will call up and say, well, what time do you have available? And you say, well, I've got this time and this time and this time. You might have to email them and write down all the times. I've added in a really quick uh, and easy feature that allows you to do that. So all you need to do on the right side is uh, select the contact here and then go ahead and click which times you have available. And you would hold down the control button on your keyboard. So holding down the control, you would then click and click 
and click okay so I've selected four different times uh, and dates and uh, excuse me times and staff and then go ahead and click the email proposed time and what that's gonna do is gonna automatically create an email based on a template we've previously set up and it's got all of the dates times and different staff names that are available very quickly so it's a really great uh, feature to be able to have that we also have a uh, information down here that says the total appointments and the appointment type totals in a nice uh, pie chart here. So uh, this keeps a running total of all the appointments based on staff for a given day. And that's pretty much it for the main screen. Uh, next, we will move on to the week view screen. Thank you.